Now, throughout the years, we've actually done several different studies with several different dolphins, and we found out that dolphins are very, very good at matching simple objects, at least 90%, if not better. There are some days, though, where dolphins are like humans. They're like humans in a lot of ways. They have attitudes, they have personalities, and there are some days where they are not focused, they're not paying attention. So we're not looking at these objects, but just say, for example, we had a square star in a circle, and they weren't really sure what to select. He may have a strategy, and the strategy may be everything to the right-hand side. So he comes and looks at the objects, selects everything to the right side, that is called a side bias. If he has a favorite object, all right, first though, here comes Kyber. Now Kyber's eyesight is very, very good. He can see every hand signal, body signal, and obviously he can see these projections, these videos. He's going to come over and choose the golf club. Now the golf club was not correct. So what happens, he gets a second opportunity. So you can see that the correct object was flashing there for a while. Now let's see what he does. Let's see if he changes his mind. Or he's going to go right back to the golf club. So again, that was not the correct choice. And it looks like we're going to go to the next set of objects. So if Kyber does get it correct, Kathy will come over and blow a whistle. We refer, we refer to this, or call this, a bridge. The bridge is the gap between the correct behavior and the reinforcement. So she obviously cannot touch him, because there's plexiglass right here. So she'll blow the whistle, and he knows that's the correct choice. He's going to receive a reward. So if you hear Kathy blow that whistle, please feel free to give Kyber a nice round of applause. Here he comes once again, he likes the golf club, and he's drifting, and he went to, hey, the first, the first is correct. Very nice. And off he goes to get a reward. Very, very nice. So you'll notice that we are switching the objects. Because Kuiper was actually learning very, very well with the simple objects, like a square, a star, and a circle, we went into the little bit more challenging objects. They are moving. They weren't moving before. They're videos. Here he comes. He's going to select. He's going to select oh, very nice. Very, very nice. And there he goes. So these objects are moving. And sometimes they have a background. You notice that the last set of objects, or not the last set, but the previous set, had uh, basically a coral reef behind it. And they had fish swimming in there as well. So we wanted to see what, or we're looking to see, is what is a dolphin thinking? Can he match the objects, or does he use strategies? And we'll go to the first. The first is correct. Blow the whistle, and... He's not going, he's going, he's not going. No. A little bit of bubbles, and there he goes. Yes, yes, yes. So when he goes back up top, he's going to receive a reward. What do you think we're going to reward our dolphins with? Fish. Fish. Sometimes squid, but it doesn't always have to be fish or food. It could be other things like tactile touch, rub downs, lots of rub downs, and also lots and lots of different toys. Here again, here comes Kyber. We want him to match the object that's in the far window. He's going to, he's going to come over here and choose the purse, and the purse was not correct, so he doesn't hear a whistle, so we're going to give him a second opportunity, he's going to look at the object again, let's see if he can change his mind, he didn't get it right the first time, will he change his mind, he's going to go to the golf club, yes, and that was correct, peek a -boo. peek a -boo. and there we go. So dolphins are very, very playful animals, obviously. We do have three closets this tall, full of different toys. Uh, you'll notice that we have a fence over here as well. The right hand side, that fence is not to protect the dolphins from the other sea creatures, or to protect the sea creatures from the dolphins. But first, again, here comes Kyber. We've asked him to match that object in that far window. He's going to come over here and select the purse. So the purse is not correct. And it looks like he's going to see if he can change his mind. So we're going to go back, repeat the trial. He didn't get it right the first time. Is he going to get it right the second time? Yay! And he goes to the golf club. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. And now he goes. Yes, I'm correct. Yes, 
Now, once in a while, we used to have several research projects where we needed a lot of room. The center fence actually dropped all the way down to the floor, and the dolphins would have access to the whole entire area. Once in a while, the dolphins will get on the other side of that fence, and they'll decide, you know what, we don't want to do research, we want to play. Well, it's not like we can catch them because they can fit, swim at 15 miles per hour. Pick them up because Kyber weighs around 530 pounds. And bring them on this side of the fence to lift the fence up. We have to wait for them. First, here comes Kyber again. Hopefully he's going to pass that object that was in the far window. He does not do it this time. So that was not the correct choice. So we're going to set it back. We're going to go to the next one. All right. So when the dolphins get on the other side of that fence and they decide they don't want to do research, they want to play. There are three sea turtles on the other side of that, 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 the other side of that fence. They will find one of those sea turtles, and by the way, they weigh over 200 pounds each. They will find one and start to spin it around so fast, it starts to look like a UFO. Here comes Kyber again. We want him to match that object. Across your fingers, he's got a whole new set of objects with the background. He's going to go to the first. surface, toss it, and watch it skip on the surface of the water, and all the fish are footballs. You'll notice that we don't have a lot of fish on this side. They will eat the fish, but they typically don't. They like to play with them more than they do eat them. Alright, so what are we doing here? We're going to wave? He's not doing nothing. Oh, that's Rainier. That's Rainier. He's looking at the optics. He wants to do magic. So Kathy's just more or less having fun with Rainier. Because they're like humans, we try to change up their day as much as possible. Rainier actually does this magic project, but we don't want him to do magic project. We just want him to less have some fun, but he thinks he's got to do the magic project. All right, so there he goes. We're going to send Kuiper back down here once again. We want him to match these objects. These are Kuiper's objects. And no. Yes. No. Yes. Maybe. Not sure. Well, we're good to go. I saw the thumbs up. All right. So again, these objects are not simple by any means. Usually, when we first start, we have a square, a star, and a circle. But these are a little bit more complex. They're rotating. They're videos. You can see the fish going back from the background. You also see the coral reef. So it's a little bit more challenging. Here he comes. He's looking at the objects. He's going to go to the purse. Very nice. All right, looks like we're going to have a photo opportunity here, folks. Get those cameras ready. Go ahead and take some pictures if you like. Big smile. We're going to bring over to this side over here. Hold on one second, Kathy. One second. Now, this is Kyber. Like I said, he is one of the bigger ones. He weighs around 530 pounds. He is 22 years of age. And he sticks his tongue out. Oh, he stuck his tongue out. That's not right. All right, one more time. We're going to do photo opportunity. He's waiting. Yay! Very nice. And off he goes. All right, folks, that's going to end our presentation. Thank you very much for listening. If anybody has any further questions, Miss Wendy will be glad to stick around and answer questions you do, if you do have. Have a wonderful day here at Epcot. Goodbye, everybody.